has been with Atlas for the past four years. This 23-year-old originally from Kosovo, where both his father and sister served in the Army during the war. Mariki now 23-1. and one. His lone loss a DQ to Danny Sheehan, but he would avenge that four months later. Sam Ahmad is now 35 years old. He has told those in the fight game for years, don't call me Sammy still. That's what he went by when he turned pro at the right age of 29. He's now 16, 2, and 3 with 7 knockouts. Because of management troubles, this tough Philly fighter hasn't fought since last November. Scheduled for 10 rounds, Jim Santa, your referee. Good clean fight. Touch close. Well, Scott Ledoux, you heard what Teddy Atlas said. He says, we're going to find out if tonight is graduation night for my young light heavyweight. Well, he's going against a veteran who's a real tough customer, and this is the time to find out how much you've learned in the last few years. Ahmad comes out right off the gate with that left hand. And he's going to come out and fight you all night long. That's the one thing about Sammy Mott. He is not a cheap dance. He comes to fight. It will just be a matter of whether or not Mariki can stay poised, competent, and get the fight going his way. First round knockouts. Mariki eight to his credit during his young career. As you hear the chant here at New Rock City already going up, Mo Ricky. And he goes down in the first round against the veteran Sam Ahmad. Got hit with a right hand behind the ear there. Now he's got to tie this guy up. Get his, get clear his head. It's too, way early in the fight for him to worry about. He's got to tie him up, not worry about being knocked down. Scott, this goes total opposite of what Sam Ahmad told us yesterday when he said, you know, I'm just going to come forward and see how he reacts. I'll make some adjustments in the middle of this fight. Well, seeing how he react, that ended up being on the canvas is how Mariki reacted to Ahmad coming forward early. And right back at him comes Elmer Mariki. Two knockdowns scored. One for each fighter. We're halfway through the first round. Neither one of these guys are interested in ducking tonight. Unbelievable first round, and a big right hand for Mariki. Our third knockdown of this first round. Mariki is really loose on those legs. Ricky, he is in serious trouble. Jim Seath is going to let him go still a minute to go in this first round. This is an unbelievable display of action in this first round. I hope Ricky can hang on because I'll tell you what, he's in trouble right here. He is definitely hurt. 50 seconds to go now. Mariki trying to hang on. He's gone down twice, and he's also scored a knockdown. But that last right hand from Sam Ahmad really punished him. One thing Sam's doing wrong is not giving himself room to punch. He could take Ricky out of there right now. Good shot. Ricky's legs are still not under him. And Sam's trying to load up with that right hand. Ricky's still not got to get in there and tie up. The only hope he's got to get through this round. Second knockdown from the right hand of Sam Ahmad. Scott, let's look at the action of all three knockdowns in that first round. We will start with Sam Ahmad's opening right hand. Little overhand right. Ricky had his left hand down low and got tagged. But then right away he comes back with an uppercut left hook and knocks Sammy Ahmad down. What a beautiful combination, but then that right hand. Wow. I'll tell you what, he dropped his right, his hands and Ahmad came right over the top with overhand right. And Ricky, I'll tell you what. It, only a testament to his conditioning that he got back up. Ricky's got to get that jab going and get out of trouble here. Scott, in the early action here in round number two, do you see anything in the legs of Elvira Mariki that would hint to you? 
No, he's all right right now so far. He's moving all right, pretty steady, but he's got to get that jab going. Do a little fainting, buy some time. He gets those legs real strong. There's a right hand again by Sam Ahmad that floors Maricki. The third time he has gone down in this fight. Step to me, step to me. Okay. By the way, folks, we are using the New York rules. There is a three knockdown rule. There is no standing eight, but there is a three knockdown rule. He just walked into another right hand, but took it. He's got to get that jab going. Duck a little bit. We are four minutes into this fight. There have been four knockdowns. Mariki has gone down three times, and he is hurt again here with a lot of time on the clock here on round number two. But the one thing about Mariki, he's really the pretty a punch. Ahmad can't be careless. Sammy Ahmad got a little hop in his step right now. He thinks he's on the way to a win. Don't forget that Sam Ahmad was a solid light heavyweight before he ran into slugger Julian Letterlow. He said that loss put him into a downward spiral his next two fights. Now he feels he's back mentally. And Mariki goes down again from a counterpunch. It's the same thing. He's throwing a right hand and getting hit with a right hand. If he goes down again in this last one minute and 15 seconds, this fight is over. He keeps trying to throw that overhand right. He's got to get the jab and move a little bit. Buy some time. Get your legs back. Whoa. And Mariki now shakes up Ahmad. He hurt him bad. He what? still hurt. What an amazing story being told here in these first two rounds. Teddy Atlas said tonight's graduation night. Instead, his young charge was drafted into a war. Going back to the jab, that's what you got to do, the basics. That's what's going to win the fight for you. Ricky's got to get that jab on and stay behind it. That blocks right hands, that left jab. He hurt him, hurt him again. He hurt him there with an uppercut. And now it's Mariki who has Mamad up against, who has Ahmad up against the ropes. Murad is hurt. Ahmad is hurt right now. Ahmad goes down. They're saying it's a push. Jim Santa says it's a push. It's a push. It's a push. That is the end of an absolutely wild second round here from New Rochelle. That will never be broken. Line drive down the right field line. That is going to be a base hit. Playing it in the corner is Mondesi. Hatterberg's going for two. Here's the throw. Here's the play. He is out. Oh, what a throw by Mondesi. He taps softly. That rolls by Pinheiro. The shovel. Got him. What a great play by Boone. Bullpen has been very consistent. Richie Sexton with a dive. Back to the bag, that is a double play. To left center field, long run for Merced, a skidding, diving, tumbling catch. He will not get points for artistic performance, but he gets the out. New Rock City in New Rochelle, home to this week's Tuesday night fights where we have been watching a war through the first two rounds. Second round action, Ahmad and Mariki. There's that big right, Scott. I'll tell you what, Mariki throws a right hand, and then he leaves himself wide open to get hit with the one. But Mariki comes back with a lead right and gets caught again. Here's Mariki's damage done in that second round. He hurt Sammy right there. Look at his legs wobbling. He hurt him right there. He could come on. These two guys are pitching and catching. Ricky wants to go. He's hungry. This is scheduled for 10. It's only the third round. These two guys are trading shots right now. It's In only... that second round, it was Mariki who landed 15 power shots to Ahmad 7. Mariki, I'll tell you what, he's got to come out and get on that jab and then stay behind it and fire the right hand. Ahmad's legs still don't seem 
to be that good right now. Sammy Ahmad just doesn't look real solid on his feet right now. Ricky's eyes seem very clear right now. Doing a nice job following that jab in. Staying right there. That's what he's got to do. Come in behind that jab. Look at this. What is this? Not, not, don't want to give Sammy Ahmad a chance to throw that counter right in. Come in behind that jab. Okay, Sam Ahmad, I thought, was going to do a suplex there on Elber Maricki before Jim Santa stepped in. Diaz is standing by ringside. Mario. Hey, guys, real quick. Keep in mind, with all the knockdowns Where's we've seen that? thus far, Mariki's probably down about four rounds, considering that he's touched the canvas here in this fight so far four times. Scoring edge would go to Sam Ahmad. However, in that second round, even though the knockdown was scored by Ahmad, it was Mariki who did a lot of damage in the end and now punched him 25 to 15. those uppercuts. Don't get careless. Sammy Ahmad can punch. Let go. Let go. Ricky coming with a right hand right behind the ear. It puts him down. Elfer Mariki in the third round has come back and floored Sam Ahmad. Gonna let him out. Here he comes. The Kosovo kid. Another big right hand. That's a knockdown. That is an run. absolutely knockdown against He's Sam Ahmad. Not gonna count on a knockdown. I can't believe it. That was a right hand. Jim Santa is not counting on his knockdown. That was a right hand. There's another one. Let's see if he can hang on. 17 seconds to go in the third round. Ahmad looking to escape. You cannot be saved by the bell under the New York rules. That is it. it stops. Good job. Kenny Atlas with a big hug. He steadied the ship. Sam Ahmad probably can't believe it. He scored three knockdowns. What a three rounds between Mariki and Sam Ahmad. Score the knockout win for Elver Kosovo Kid Mariki. I'll tell you, Mariki just keeps firing shots. There's a knockdown. I'll tell you what, right behind the right ear, he nailed him with the right hand. Very nice right hand, no doubt about it. And there's another right hand. This was to close out the third round. This was an impressive display of combination punching, Scott. I'll tell you what, Mariki shows a great conditioning. I'll tell you, he's in great shape. Coming back from two, three knockdowns and takes this guy out of there and finishes the fight. Elver Mariki closed the show, landing 32 of 44 power shots. Let's head up to Mario Diaz. Mario? Well, as Elvery prays down on the canvas, let me talk to Teddy. You saw what happened inside the ring. He made the adjustments you needed. You're speechless. Hey, look, I love ESPN, but I didn't want to give him this good a fight. <laughs> Are you crazy? We don't get paid enough to give him this good a fight. Listen, he went out there, his first big moment. He made a lot of big mistakes. He pulled straight back. He threw punches. He dropped his hands. He stood there, and he did stupid, stupid things, and he almost paid the ultimate price for it. But having said that, he showed the heart of a lifetime coming back and doing what he did. Alvary, did you feel that the referee was going to stop the fight at one point? No, because I was I was responsive. Anyway, I was like, Thank you, I'm sorry, I'm sorry that I got dropped. Because a lot of the time he caught me, the punch I didn't even see. Because I know I, had, I have a great chin, but I, he caught me with the punch that I didn't even see. What this fight teach you? Yes, this this is a, this asked Teddy about this fight. Teddy, Teddy will tell you everything. Listen, he has the character that you always wonder of a fighter. Forget skill. You wonder if a fighter has character. Well, we found that out tonight. Now he has to make sure that he improves in the other areas, that he's not careless technically, which he was early on. But he also adjusted and listened in the corner and made some adjustments after he was hurt, which is very important, too. 
tremendous fight and a tremendous talent displayed after the knockout.